and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm just going to be going through some of the mining companies that I'm following you know it's maybe that's kind of unfair I, before I get into it for those of you who like my content you know to support me by now you can do that by liking commenting and subscribing I am a gold dealer by trade gold and silver dealer by trade more a coin dealer by trade but I do invest in other assets you know I I like to see if there's other ways I can make money and there are other business opportunities that I do get involved in that are directly outside of gold and silver so the reason I'm making this video is a lot of people keep messaging me saying well what are you invested in um, I don't know why that's relevant I'm not a financial advisor the type of investments I make are usually speculative in the stock market uh, because I think I can make my money work harder for me than by having it as a passive income. Um, if my situation was different, I would build a different portfolio and I'd have different companies. So I'm not going to go through each of them. I'm just going to go through the list that I made. So I'm only invested in three of these companies at the moment. There's a couple more that I want to put money into. You know, my holdings have taken a 30% kick in over the last maybe three or four weeks that's okay I, I bought in probably um in all honesty if i buy into something and the investment case remains the same i'm not really that bothered if it drops it can drop a lot you know it, it doesn't really affect me um that's the type of play you want to kind of buy on the way down and buy on the way up it's not for the faint-hearted you know there's many people that would have looked at and thought you're crazy maybe i am you know maybe i am crazy but i just calling it how i see it so let's kind of get into it so i don't know a lot about most of these companies i need to go back and do some real research on them the ones that i am personally invested in are this company so bluebird merchant ventures it's more a speculator i really like their story so originally they they bought assets i believe it was in the philippines and it didn't quite work out and their ethos was let's where can we go where the, we know there's gold and it just wasn't economic to mine a few decades back so they ended up getting some assets in south korea it's a very interesting story it's got a very strong management team who have a track record of success they are really excited about this project you know, don't get me wrong, you can listen to a thousand executives and a lot of them will be excited about their projects, you know. It kind of comes with the territory. However, I think it's got scope to kind of do well. It's it's pre it's pre uh producer at the moment. Um they're currently in the process of buying out their business partner. So essentially they, they went into business with another company who kind of drop this bombshell the other company had no intention of getting it to production they wanted to short the assets increase the value and move it on so it could be that bluebird merchant ventures will get all of the pie they've already got backing you know it's non-dilutive which is always good so if you can get a company that has non-dilutive uh backing you know it's that tends to mean that the people backing them have a strong belief that this is going to be a goer so yeah i i thought i bought pretty cheap i'm actually i'm actually a little bit in profit on these from when i bought so it's not all bad it's the other company that i've taken a bit of kicking on so yeah that's bluebird merchant ventures going down this list i there's a few opportunities that kind of interest me that i know of i don't know most of them so scott gold rock fire land or resources i don't really know much about um you're you're going to notice that there is a geographic theme by the way of where these where these uh companies are uh ecr minerals <sighs> vaguely no i wasn't really too impressed when i looked at these uh cora gold i know of auto strategies is an interesting play so this is a company that they're more like a deal finder I don't think they will develop much gold. I don't think they will produce much gold. It's more they want to they want to find out where it is, shore up the resources, and move them on to someone who's got the skills and capabilities to to really uh, monetize it. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if they sell it and keep it as a royalty interest. 
very very interesting company so well actually i think they've done that i've i've made a note on that um <coughs> excuse me so you can see that i've kind of separated into different groups the different groups kind of dictate how big the company size is in terms of market cap so these constantly move around you can see that i've got this here i i haven't stuck to it this i, I actually made this list in july um, and then my business went crazy so i never really had the time to explore this how i wanted to and this is one of the reasons why i've been wanting to grow youtube because if it gives me a day or two a month where i can work on it you know i can put out content like this it's super niche however it's part of gold and silver that i think is interesting and people should know about just because you like to own the physical it doesn't mean it's mutually exclusive you can own both and there's nothing wrong with that and the people who say otherwise well unfortunately the the gold and the, well the metals markets are dictated by the paper market so you you do kind of want a combination of both regardless of what you believe so yeah let's go on to the second lot so I don't know much about any of these companies here whatsoever. Um, I'm not invested in any of these. I'll get I'll go down further into what I have invested in. So these are more your mid caps. These are your small caps still. These are probably your micro caps. Um, these are the plays I'm interested in. And I'll tell you why I'm interested in this type of play. It's because they are small enough to take on the projects and uh, and prove up the resources and get some metal out the ground and they're also small enough to be wiped out by these guys here and also the other uh the other miners who don't just deal in gold and silver so for example say say caledonia mining probably not a great example as it's zimbabwe say anglo-asian in Azerbaijan, they they find this this mine, they prove it up. There's nothing to stop one of the big guys. So, and Tofagasto, something like that. You know, there's nothing to stop one of the big guys coming in and and buying them out. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Like I want companies that have the potential to shore up the resources and then potentially be bought out down the line so this company here this is an anomaly i put this on because i do own shares in this it's not so much a gold or silver company it's a royalty company uh, they're multi-asset and they actually own a royalty in hummingbird which is a company i will get to in a second so yeah my rationale is as gold prices continue to kind of expand and even after the drop, you know, I still think I still think the issue is the debt. And I still think there's a disparity between the price of the dollar and the price per ounce, regardless of the short term fluctuations of it going up or down. Now, you can look at other channels and they think that it's a paper smack smackdown. They think it's to do with the the big players wanting to lower the price. I I actually kind of believe that, you know, it's it's a cop it's a complex market so yeah let's talk about hummingbird now this is the company i bought into that i'm now 30 percent down on it's okay you know it's okay i think it's at 30 pence now i would check i i can do it a later date but it's it's kind of immaterial what the price is now you know the price matters when i sell it so this company is run and partially owned by the bets the bets company in the uk that produce gold and silver bullion i'm i got interested in it because of the sheer scope it looked cheap it looked really really cheap and it's even cheaper if anything i'd say it's in bargain territory at the moment in terms of uh what they have in assets and the price of gold i got it penciled in for one pound company so when I'm paying 40 pence and I think it's got potential of a pound, you know, it, I don't mind. I'll keep buying it. There, there comes a point where you're kind of too overweight. I've sunk about 15,000 pound into it. Um, I could be wrong. You know, it is, I could lose half my money. 
60, 70% of my money. But the truth is, I, I don't believe that. I fundamentally don't believe that. The wheels have to fall off before it should go to that discount. And if it's going to that discount, I'm back up the truck and I'm buying everything I can get my hands on because realistically, it's a company that is going to have no debt sooner rather than later. I think it's going to be debt free within the next 12 months. It's committed to being debt free. It's paid down large chunks of debt. It's snapping up mines um, and profitable mines at that. I think they've got a very, very bright future. The only thing that overhangs is the fact that it's in Africa. And anyone who knows anything about um, mining shares, African companies tend to lag. So yeah, they're the, they're the three companies I'm kind of in. You know, Bluebird Merchant Ventures, Hummingbird, and Anglo Pacific. Like I said, this one's not really a gold and silver company. It's more a royalty company. But I think there's going to be good things when the business cycle picks up again. I will kind of go into other companies at a later date. There are companies on this list I actually rather like. Hochschild, I've been a fan of for years. Sentiment, a very well-run company. Fresnillo as well. Petro Pavlosk. I'm not a fan of their board. However, they make good money. So yeah, there's a lot of companies there that you can get your teeth into. It's kind of gone over the length I wanted it to. Uh, for those of you who do support my channel, I greatly appreciate it. For those of you who are not interested in mining stocks, I completely understand it. It's it's one of those things. I'll probably put a, a video up of, I don't know, 500 grams of gold or something ridiculous soon just, just to appease the, the people who like that stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.